Hello, I am Daisha D, and welcome to Reality with me, Daisha D. This is my first episode of this mini series where I'm going to have some fun with y'all. Um, I watch a lot of reality TV just because it's mindless and, and entertaining, honestly. It's messy, um, but you get to see how people interact and all that good stuff. So I'm just going to look at the shows that I watch and we could talk about it and have some fun. So I don't know if y'all been watching, but Love is Blind season four has been out on Netflix. Uh, the reunion just came out last night. And I don't know if y'all, if I was by my lonesome waiting in front of the TV and my phone to see when this thing is going to start. And it just, it took, it took forever. It took forever to start. I mean, they were on CP time. I think it took like an hour and a half before they started the show. And then they claimed that, oh, um, it was so many of y'all, y'all crashed Y'all crashed the site. Well, Netflix, y'all should have planned for this, right? Just because y'all did Chris Rock's thing earlier this, uh, what was that, like last month? Y'all should have did a test run. Because not only were they late, when they came on an hour and a half later, they had hot mics in the back. You could hear people whispering, chattering to the side. So I don't know. It was late. And so because of that, it just, by the time it started, I feel like everybody was tired. Um, there were some people tweeting and speculating as to why they were actually late. And Mr. Marshall himself said that uh, this is the real reason why they were late. Apparently, your girl Jackie got into it with producers. She got into it with the producers. And so she was there, but then she left. I mean, that's what they're saying. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Allegedly, that's what happened. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, so let's dive into it. So honestly, y'all, this is the only couple that I cared to see <laughs> this season. I feel like out of all the seasons of Love is Blind, Brett and Tiffany, Cameron and Lauren are about the only two that I care to hear updates about that seem uh, genuine and actually like love each other. Brett talked about how he drove six hours in one day to take portraits of her and surprise her with it. And I guess that's what they mean by if he wants to, he will. I love that. I love that for her. I love that for them. And it's refreshing to see uh, a black man, you know, be so vulnerable and thoughtful and just, you know, just sweet, just all around sweet. So it was nice. Um, Seeing them and getting a little update, it seems like they're just kind of settling in. So, I mean, it, I mean, yeah, positive, right? Then we move on to the mess. Kwame, or as he likes to say, Kwame, aka Alex, aka I don't like my name, but I like my name, but I don't like my name, but I like my name. Um, and Chelsea. I don't really know how I feel about them. I, I like, I like Chelsea. She seems sweet, but at the same time, I feel like she's trying to convince herself and us that they made the right decision by saying yes. I almost wonder if she would have pulled a Micah at the altar and said, hey, you go first, if he would have still said yes. He claims he would have, but I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean... I understand that he wanted to patch up things with Micah as far as having like those closure conversations, but he just, he was thirsting after her. I mean, he, he, she got out the pool, his eyes is just locked in on her. It just, I don't know. I, I, I'm never going to wish negativity on anybody's relationship or anyone's life. Um, I just don't see this working. Like I, he doesn't seem as invested as she is. I mean, his family, well, his mom wasn't even on board with it. And I personally feel like that would be difficult to be with someone whose mom doesn't accept you, especially if he is close to his mom. And it seems like he is. I don't know. And Kwame, Kwame, whatever he wants to call himself, I just don't like him. And I don't like him because he honestly doesn't like himself. 
he just doesn't. He says that he likes his name and he wore uh, an Afri uh, Africa necklace to the reunion. And I feel like that's just to further prove to himself that he likes who he is, but it just doesn't seem like it. He seems to keep chasing uh, white girls and hoping to be accepted by them. I mean, he told the story about how he uh, couldn't take his prom date to prom and and when he goes to meet the families, he feels like he has to show up as his resume. And not to be harsh, but it's giving minstrel show. It, a little bit like tap dancing of, see, look at me. I, I, I was a good boy. Like, I just, not feeling it, not feeling it. Um, listen, Zach, I'm neutral on them. I think they genuinely care about each other, love each other. Um, she says that she's over him choosing Irina initially over her. And hopefully for her own healing, I hope that she has moved past that. Um, it's crazy though, because it's like when you look back at it, right? She did something thoughtful. She baked these cupcakes for his birthday and other homegirl completely forgot it. It makes you think like these types of things happen in in real life. Like you feel like the people who are shitty, for lack of better words, they get the options. But the people who are really sweet and thoughtful, not so much. Like it's like they got to kiss a lot of frogs before they find the person or the people that appreciate that for them. Um, Zach claims that her dad accepts him. This man. This, this man. Oh Lord. Y'all, this is my first time. Just forgive me. It's okay. I, I, I'll figure it out. But that man, he didn't like him from hello. He didn't like him from hello. And I see why her parents are no longer together. He's a jerk. I get that them getting married after only knowing knowing each other for two weeks. Most parents are gonna be like, what the, what, what, are you, what are you doing? What what are, What's happening? Like, do we need to have an intervention? What's going on? I get that. Because I know my family would check me and not be so kind about it. But sometimes I feel like you just have to respect the decision that your child is making as long as it's not harming them or someone else. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Her dad just was mean. But I, you know, I wish them the best. Irina, Irina, Irina. Mean girl, Irina. Um, she attempted to apologize to everybody about what, you know, she said and what she did. She took this long, deep breath for some non-existent tears and apologized and just said, you know, I just loved watching you guys' love story. It was just so beautiful to see him be treated correctly and you know, I, I'm going to learn from this and, and did 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 she just was talking and talking and talking and talking and talking. <sighs> Irina strikes me as one of those girls who she maybe was like popular adjacent. Like maybe she grew up and she had friends that were popular, but she was just friends with them. She was never like that chick, that girl. And so for some reason in the house, her forming an alliance with Micah, they just, they were the popular girls in their mind. Like it, it's like those people who don't peak past high school. That's what it's given. Um, just mean. And the crazy part is those two were, were just mean spirited in general. Micah didn't get as much heat, which I don't understand, but they both were able to manipulate the dudes that they were dealing with to stop dating the other girls and to choose them out of their own selfishness, obviously. And then it didn't work out for either one of them. That's why they said it was meant for you will not like it will find you. And I don't know. She just, she got a lot of heat. I semi feel bad for her because social media can be rough and harsh. People forget that you are a person too. Um, but I get, I mean, she was mean on the show and I guess she just got back what she was putting out into the universe, honestly. 
Paul and Micah, their relationship, I didn't like. I'm surprised that he chose her. I'm surprised that they made it to the altar. I'm not surprised that he said no. And I don't blame her for telling him, you go first, bro. You go first. Because I'm not going to say yes and you say no. And then I'm doubled embarrassed. I'm good. Um, Now, what I will say, one of the reasons why he said he wasn't going to marry her is because she wasn't nurturing. He couldn't see her being a mom. But then Micah says, but you talk, like, I talk to you all the time about being a mom and that's something I really want. And you're the one who told me, hey, I don't even know if I want to be a dad. That's gaslighting. I know y'all hate hearing that word because it is overused on social media, but I promise you that is a perfect example of that. How is it in one breath you're saying she's not nurturing, I don't want to be with her, then, you know, I don't even want to be a dad. If that is true, that you thought she wasn't a good, that you thought she wouldn't be a good mom and you don't even want to be a dad, wouldn't that make y'all compatible? Okay, well, you know. All right, so the moment we all tuned in for, really, the whole Jackie, Josh, and Marshall triangle. I don't, I feel like Jackie tiptoed around the fact that she just wasn't attracted to him. And instead of just saying, you know, hey, you're a nice guy, but it takes more than being just a nice guy, I'm not into this. I, you know, I felt like she kept dangling the possibility of a relationship, the possibility of a marriage in front of Marshall, because Marshall is the type of person that if you tell him, he wants to improve, he's a Virgo, he wants to improve. So if you're telling him, hey, I need you to do this, what she said, I need you to man up or boss up. In the moment that he did that, when he was clapping at him, when he was talking, she didn't like it. And she checked him back. So it's like, don't try to give him ways to improve if it doesn't matter what he does. You're not in this. You're not invested in this. And I don't know that I believe the fact that she's, she's saying um, she went on a date with Josh after ending the relationship with Marshall. As you can see, Marshall, <laughs> much like myself, he, he, you know, the way he feels, you will know because it's written all over his face. And I mean, this is how all of us feel thought and felt as they were talking. Um, I don't know Marshall, but he presents himself as somebody who uh, is a nice guy, who's empathetic, who's who's uh, an effective communicator um, and wants to have a, a healthy relationship. Um, I know people keep saying that he should date Ayana from a few seasons ago. I could see that being cute, but I mean, you don't really know. Like, we don't know what these people actually want in their real lives. Um, but yeah, I mean, that was the, that, that basically was the reunion, y'all. It wasn't, it wasn't giving what I thought it was going to give, to be honest with you. I mean, there were a few moments that were a little messy, like Zach calling out Irina for joining the show to be famous, which I'm sure a lot of people do. Um, and then obviously this whole Jackie and Marsha moment. But other than that, I don't, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. And then also, I don't like the fact that Jackie and Josh, they opted out of coming because they didn't want to face the heat. But I mean, you made your decisions, now stand in it. Stand in it, get the questions. It's uncomfortable, cry it out, and then move forward, close the chapter. It, it's that simple. Um I think they're already filming a Love is Blind 5 right now. I don't know which city, but they are. Would y'all ever Would y'all ever go on a dating show? And if so, which one? Comment below, let me know. Uh, this has been Reality with Daisha D. Uh, join me. I, like I said, I'm going to be reviewing different shows that I watch. One show that's coming on, I cannot wait since that trailer drop was Real Housewives of Atlanta. I will be there. Other than that, y'all let me know some other shows that y'all into. Maybe Love After Lock. I don't know. But we'll see. All right. Remember, like, comment, and subscribe.